Welcome to one of our beta versions. This is a version that will become the 6.4 at the 1st February of 2018. There was a question online, Google Plus, or was it Facebook? Somebody asked, hey Eric, is it possible to install Arch Merge and then uh, get rid of one or two of the desktops? You know that the word merge is because we merge XFCE, Openbox and i3 together. So at some point in time you say, hey, I just want XFC or maybe XFC Openbox or Openbox i3, these reasonings. First of all, I must say priority number one is use Arch Merged for that. So there is an ISO that's called Arch Merge with a D. And in that case, you install everything we have on Arch Merge, but just XFCE or just Openbox or just i3 so maybe i should point um, that in or show you that here so if we type arch merge let's have a look see what google comes up with so there is arch merge and uh, dubois sourceforge arch merchant info all good all good links but if we take one of those arch merge.com for instance then i have always here a link to the four websites we host there's a forum, there's info, and there's Arch Merged. So my a message to you is if you just want one uh, desktop management, then you go here, you just follow these tutorials. Or you go here and you follow these tutorials, and you go here and you follow that one. And these are extra, so we'll have more um, desktops coming soon. But what if you don't want to do the Arch Merge story like I tell you? Then that's, then there's option two. Well, option two is actually back to the, the net. We have a github.com Arch Merge Linux. And I want you, I don't want you to give you a script. I want you to make smarter. I want to give knowledge to you guys. So here we have all these elements um, the scripts we use when we install Arch Merged, so A and D, Arch Merged, and we install i3, then this is what we do. And if you say, I don't want to install it anymore, then you go check out what I install here, and all you have to do is do the reverse. Meaning, if I install here i3 caps, then you should uninstall it. Of course, the light DM, we should, we still need it, but i3 lock and i3 status can go as well. So what if, let's do a small exercise. What if i3 is no longer on the table? You say, it's too difficult for me, it's not for me. How can I get rid of it? So, sudo pacman minus, minus s is installation. That's not a minus that's a minus, minus S is installing, and minus R is removing. So you, now you got to read real good, 22 is all about light DM, so that's our login manager or our display manager, so no, we keep that one. If we do remove i3 lock, let's see what it says, if it's going to be mad or not, target not found, okay, Let's try just i3. So lock is not, not even installed. Oh yeah, nice to know. So we installed it on uh, Arch Merge, but not in Arch Merge. Nice to know. Anyway, anything that is has these blocks thing here, i3 blocks can go, um, i3 gaps can go, and i3 status can go. And what's more, there is also without dash there is also an arch merge i3 that can go as well so if we uninstall everything and one two three i3 is gone but rather than giving you a list of, of elements you better read and, and see what i install and then go ahead and uninstall it because the same i can apply apply the same to um well let's first test guys let's first test so if you log out and you log in, is i3 still there? That's the question we all have. No, it's gone. That's because i3 caps next is gone. 
Okay, let's delete open box as the next exercise and keep XFC. So, where do I get my future information in one month, six months, three years? Well, we go to the github.com. It's down here. And we install Arch Merge Open Box. So that's that one. And how do you install Open Box with this thing, for instance? And it says the word Open Box. And the rest keep off. The rest keep off. So pseudo pacman minus r open box. And that's gone. But he says, oh, wait a moment. There are lots of dependencies on this, this thing here. Um, you need to get rid of all those as well. Otherwise, it will break your system. So, okay, fine, you say. So arch merge open box themes as well. Alex appearance, obconf as well, obconf, obi menu generator, and open box. All right, kids, everything gone. Everything is gone. There are still a few of them uh, that are specific to open box, but let's let's check it out. So log out. Log back in, gone. Just one available, just one desktop is available. And now we can keep looking out for application that we say, oh yeah, but actually that application is useful for open box and not for the rest. So open box, if you type this one, we have LibreOffice, that's okay. So everything called open box is, is gone. And now it's up to us to see maybe if we can uninstall other things, but I'm don't really know what else I could maybe uninstall. So let's have a look. Quick peek. Okay. Here in settings might be something. Coolmox is not really for XFCE, but okay, you can keep it. Looks good. Settings. Sorry, system. Yeah, that's it really. So now you have all this information. Maybe one last thing, control H. Dot config, check out if there's anything specific here, like OB menu generator can go, open box can go. Um, that's a manual thing you have to do because the packages uninstall etc scale remember file system etc scale all the arch merge rolling release is going to be updated here because yes we do not want to write in your own home folder that's not done to delete stuff and overwrite stuff here so that's a manual check if i3 can go and that's it basically that's it don't delete xfc4 all the settings will be gone we will break the system, but the settings will be gone. All right, that's it. So here you go. That's a way to start an Arch Merge and then check it out and, and then go to the Arch Merge to GitHub and see what I install and then find your way like that in coming months and coming years. All right, cheers.